occupy and be counted. She's the silver star. You know, people just couldn't hold their liquor. But you can't make the student think. She's prepared. See, that's called corruption. There's a lot the student union can do. The guitar and the double bass. But to have a safe or secure life. Sir Bertrand du Gousselet, hope I'm saying that right, who originally died in 1380, came back from the grave to lead his men into the fray. He was kind enough to take a break from fighting the English to come into our studio today for an interview. Sir Bertrand, it's good to see you. It is good to see you as well. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, during the Hundred Years' War, I was the marshal for France. Before that, I fought English pretty much all my adult life. Perfect. Uh, so can you tell us, um, you were dead for a long part of your life. What did you make the decision to come back from the grave? Well, uh, it's just a good time. Canada is a wonderful place, bilingual, like my own home country of Brittany. Um, the people are friendly, the air is, and the water is clean, which is a big bonus. You reenact things with the real swords. You don't use anything fake. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? We do practice with plastic and wood weapons, um, aluminum as well, but uh, in our combats, we use what is called rebated steel, which is an authentic sword that is just not sharp. What was the outcome of the Battle of the Museums? Well, uh, Lord Macduff of Scotland won our grand melee, and Hopefully we got people interested in history, which was our main goal. And so tell me, uh, how did you learn to speak English so well, since so well even though you hate the English so much? Well, uh, being born in a bilingual country myself, I learned to speak both French and English at an early age. Uh, in fact, I learned to speak English so well <coughs> that me and some of my men impersonated English officers and stole a castle from them once. Do you think chivalry is dead at all? Absolutely not. I'm still here. <laughs>